guys, my name is Amer. I've studied civil engineering in a country called Jordan, and now I'm here in Canada studying the Ontario Building Code. I have studied the code for a while now, but while I was studying it, and I'm still studying it actually, I didn't have many, I didn't find many resources online that would help me understand it more. So I just decided to make this, uh, guys, for you. Make this. Uh, it's a series of videos that will help you understand the building code. In this video, specifically, I'm going to be answering two questions. The first one is where we, where you can get the building code from, and the second one is what it, what does it consist of. So to start off, I'm going to show you a picture of. Uh, the building code. You have to know that it consists of two volumes. This is the picture of my own copy. It's a binder and that's volume one of the building code. See you guys how thick it is. It's a big binder. This is the second volume and that's uh, the binder itself. So here with the contents of the first volume. First volume has the building code act which is the legal basis and it just states the responsibilities of different parties like the inspectors, chief building officials, registered court agencies. It, it talks about many things related to that. Uh, I'm not going to be talking much about the Building Code Act. There's a, there's a different, like a specific exam for that, but I'm not going to be uh, talking too, too much about it in this series. Our series is going to be focused on the Building Code itself. So Volume 1 has three divisions, Division A, B, and C. Division A is called Compliance, Objectives, and Function and Statements. B is where we're going to be spending most of our time. It's, uh, it's called the Acceptable Solutions. So uh, Division B of the code has 12 parts. Uh, part 1 is the general. Part 2 is reserved. Reserved means that it doesn't actually have any content. Now if you just scan, if you go to your copy of the code, if you have one, you're not going to find any, any content in there. But it's there to keep the structure of the code. Uh, part three is about the fire protection, occupant safety, and accessibility. Four is anything, is stuff related to structural design and loads, seismic loads, wind loads, and so on. You're going to find it in part four. Five is about environmental separation. Six is the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Seven is the plumbing. All stuff related to plumbing are in seven. Eight sewage systems. Part nine is housing and small buildings. And I'm going to be talking about those buildings that fall under this category because you're going to have to know that building size, building height, uh, that would qualify to be a small building because uh, there are different classifications for buildings. There are small buildings, large buildings, complex buildings, and so on. We're going to learn that as well. Change of use. If there is a building is in part 10, if there is a building that's been used for, uh, like its occupancy was residential, and then for some reason we want to change that, type of occupancy, when I make it as a hospital or a school, then uh, stuff will be under part 10. Part 11 is about renovation of an old building, and part 12 is uh, resource conservation. Uh, Division C of the code, and that's all, remember guys, is under volume 1. Division C is administrative uh, provisions. Part 1 is a general part. Part 2 is alternative solutions. As you can see here, we have the Division B is about the acceptable solutions. So these are all solutions for building up to code that's been laid down for you by, by professionals, by, by engineers and so on. But if you, if, uh, for some reason, you needed a solution for your own building that doesn't fall under these, under these, under what has been provided to you, you can also, there's always a chance to provide a new solution and that will fall under part two of the code for alternative solutions. But those alternative solutions have to cover the objectives and functional statements that are in division A. So any solution that you want to you wanna come up with, it has to satisfy the objectives and the functional statements of that code. Uh, part 3 of Division C is about the qualifications. Here in the qualifications, it tells you about what you have to know, what exams you have to pass in order to be eligible to get a job as an inspector or a designer or a chief building official and so on. Part 4 is about the transition. Uh, Re uh, revocation and commencement. So the, all of that is under volume one of the code. And, but that's not everything because we have volume two still, which has uh, four se segments. Segment one is appendix A, which is more information, explanatory information. As we're studying volume one of the code, we're going to be referred back to appendix A. Just for your information, never forget that the appendix A is not within volume 1, it's within volume 2, and it's the first segment of volume 2. So if when sometimes they, 
the code wants to elaborate more on a certain subject, it, so it sends you to Appendix A, and here where, here where you can find it. Appendix B is imperial convergent because you have to know something that the code is in uh, metric units. So an area uses, like if you want to measure an area, we use squared meters, but in here in Canada, we, like practically, we use uh, imperial units. And if you want, if you just didn't know the convergent factor for some unit, you can find it in Appendix B. And then we go to the supplementary standards. There are three segments as well, S, A, S, B, S, C. Just exactly the same as a uh, volume one. So SA, or the supplementary standards, refer to uh, the, the code uh, referred you to in division A. And whatever has been referred to in division B falls under SB. And the same applies to C. Division C refers you to the supplementary standards of FC. So SA cont contains some attribution tables between the objectives and functional statements. We're, we're going to talk about that later on, later videos of this series. SB, SB has 13 uh, parts. SB1 is about the climatic, climatic and se uh, seismic data. SB2 is uh, fire performance rating. SB3 is the fire and uh, sound resistance of building assemblies. SB4 is uh, measures for fire safety in high buildings. SB5 is I have no content yet. SB6 is about percolation time and soil descriptions. SB7 is the construction requirements for guards. If you want to build a guard, like if you have a patio outside and you want to uh, like wrap it with a guard because you need it to, or or because sometimes you uh, you don't have to, but you just feel that it's safer uh, to build one. So if you want to build one, uh, build a guard outside. So uh, and you didn't know what type of uh, what the design should be or how you want to install it. You're going to find so many details and drawings in SB7 for that. SB8 is about design, construction, and installation of anchorage system for fixed access ladders. SB9 is the requirements for soil and gas control. SB10 talks about energy efficiency supplement. SB11 is about the construction of farm buildings. SB12 is the energy efficiency of housing. 13 is about the glass and guards. And uh, finally, SC1 is about the code of conduct for registered code agencies. So here, I just showed you guys that to tell you what to expect and what you're going to find in volume two of the, of the building code. And finally, the last segment has some forms like for, for certain permits. Now that you know what the contents of the building code are, I want to show you where you can get them from, where you can get your own copy from. So if uh, I find online that there's this website over here, I'm going to put it for you in the description. There's buildingcode.online. Here you can find volume one, division B of the code. This, is, this has section one, which is part one, or supposed to be part one of section of division B. So this is uh, section one of division B all the way to, to, to part 12 of the code. It doesn't actually contain, I, just, I went through this, it doesn't contain everything you want to find in your copy. But it is free, and you can just click on whatever part you want, and that will show you. Uh, here's there's an ad now. See, you can find many of the sections and sentences of the code, as you can see right here. Uh, another good whips, another good website that you can find um, many of, uh, uh, like most of uh, division. Now, most of uh, part, uh, volume one of the code is Ontario to CA. All you have to go, all you have to do is just go to the w this website, choose your language. Or ch I'm choosing English here. Scroll down, go to law and safety, and then scroll down again, to go to laws. But here in this search bar, here you can f find most of the city's laws. You just have to type building code. I'm going to close this one here. Make sure you select regulations here, and then hit search. This first one is the building code itself. So here you can just choose whichever version of the code you want, but just go for the current one, 2020. And here you can see that this will give you division A, B, and C of volume one. You, you won't uh, find the building code act in this current one, but you can do the same, the same thing by just searching in that search box that I showed you. You can just type building code act and you can find the building code act. But here, this is, this has, I'm gonna go back to, to this picture just to show you guys what you're gonna find in that one. So this, that website on the Ontario.ca, 
contains division A, B, and C of volume one of the building code. Now, if you want to buy the whole binder as a as a as a binder uh, like a bind the whole code as a binder or a soft copy, or, or sorry, as a what do they call it? Uh, like a soft cover, soft cover type of uh, book. You can go to order line. That's a website where you can buy it from. Or you can go to Publications Ontario, right here. I'm gonna leave the comments in the. Sorry, I'm gonna leave the links in the description. You can go to Publications Ontario, and here it tells you where can I get my 2012 building code. It says that it, it's a two volume set of seven ring binders. The cost for both volumes is 195 plus tax. And if you want a soft cover, where well, you can you can just pay 175. I bought my copy from order line and as you can see here there are three types this is this is just specific for housing and small buildings so if you want something that if your own building it doesn't fall under this category I don't suggest you buy this one because it won't have all the material that you guys need so just go for this one because it has most of the parts it's a bit pricey here and I think it's a bit cheaper here I don't know why but I went with this one for for no reason because of that my in my case, I just needed it right away, so I just bought it from here. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you needed anything, if you just feel that you have any questions, just write them in the comments, and I'll be pleased to answer them.